I have to say, too, I heard uh, Thelonious Monk in high school with jazz at the Philharmonic uh, when I was still uh, like a senior in high school. And I was very impressed with that, a touring show mm -hmm. of jazz at the Philharmonic. Yeah. And then I met him also backstage. Yeah, he was, made me a little uh, uptight. He was wearing a sampan hat, and uh, I had begun to compose little things uh, that sounded like what I heard him play on record. And I told him, uh, I said, uh, well, Mr. Monk, uh, I have written some songs in your style. And he kind of looked at me and said, well, what do you mean? All my songs are different. And that kind of shook me up. I didn't know what to, how to follow. I couldn't say anything after that. And then I met uh, Finest Newborn, uh, who lived right behind the It Club. And he used to come out to hear this jam sessions. And I was always trying to get a, have a conversation with him, but he was sort of distant. Mm -hmm. uh, and one day I saw him, and I played something that I thought he would relate to. And I saw his head turn. And then after that, we sort of had a relationship. I went down and talked to him. I said, I think I got you this morning. And he, he laughed. And we, you know, we began to, to have a little relationship there. Uh, he had a two-handed approach, uh, two octaves apart, uh, playing uh, lines, melodic lines, and improvising. And I watched him one night in the It Club Fact, as a matter of fact, it was one of our sessions, and he sat in. And I watched him play over an hour, and he played through two rhythm sections. And they were great players, too, but uh, <laughs> they just couldn't stick with it. Yeah. And uh, he was so relaxed, and he just spun out lines after lines after lines, and they were uh, etched in the same way that Bud Powell's lines were powerful and etched. And I, I, you know, I took a, a great lesson from that. Wow. Yeah.